Hello, my wonderful people. You're welcome back to Boyos Night Talk. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by. I do really appreciate. On today's report, no one wants failure, but don't give up on APC government. The presidential candidate, Tinubu begs Nigeria. Okay, well, finally, Tinubu have accepted that APC government so far has failed. But today, our main focus is going to be on what people think and what people are saying concerning this is appeal. So, let's go straight to the speech. Tinubu made the appeal during the funeral service of Grace Akeroduru, the mother of the Ondo State Governor, Rotimi Akeroduru, which was held at the Cathedral Church of St. Andrews, Imola Owo. The ruling all progressive congress APC presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, said this on Saturday. Although the Nigerians did not want a failed government, they should not give up on APC government. President Muhammad Obuhari was represented by the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo. Tinubu said, Thank God we are alive. There might be weaknesses and inadequacy in expectation. No one wants failure. You cannot give up on us. We will do better. We will contribute to the improvement you might want. Meanwhile, earlier in his sermon, Reverend Stephen Ayodeji Fagbemi lamented that the poor are getting poorer. Nigeria needs a change that will ensure safety and security in the villages. The Reverend also said that we need a government that understands the economy. Life is hard in this country. Let our leaders be careful to help us move things forward. All right, you guys have heard what Tinubu said, so make we hear the reactions from Nigerians waiting that they talk. The first person I have here said, thanks for acknowledging that APC is a failure, but Nigerians will not keep experimenting with, a with APC failure again. We have had enough of your failure, so we are sending you packing. Come next year. <laughs> Thanks for another person. Someone again is saying, thanks for acknowledging that APC is a failure. That is why APC is hiding you not to appear on live, telev on live interview. We must be obedient come 2023. All right. <laughs> Nigeria is the verse. <laughs> These are reactions. You mastermind, the, you mastermind the failure. You are the architect of the lies and propaganda called change. Now you've seen it all. You bring Buhari come just because of your selfish interest and had no plan for the country called Nigeria. No problem. At least those who survived this disaster and calamity will you bring come before us with the side 2023 election. Thank you, sir. I don't think any reasonable Nigerians need to listen to you any longer. We are seeing the reality of your wish for Nigeria. The same APC that put us in this bad condition, we are now in this country. I bid and get another APC. You guys failed woefully. How do you expect us to hope on your hopelessness? Okay, God forbid for APC. Ah, this one's strong. Oh. Finally, thank God that the APC government have come out and admit that they are failures. Let's start from there first. At least not a good start. <laughs> hey, Nigerians are really lamenting. Salvation is the routine of the day. We need change. Better change. Not a kind of change. Yo. Baba, we don't hate you. Just that we felt it's high time we plot our affairs ourselves in this country. Nigerians have decided that the affliction will not rise again the second time because once, be, once beaten, twice shall. Bob, if I feel refresh our memory, this is not the same word where patient Jonathan talk. Oh. He said Jonathan don't fail. I speak in go school, fail exam. Say they go let and repeat class. Say since if you say Jonathan don't fail, may they try let and repeat again so that he go fit, you go do better. Now wait until Nubu they try tell Nigerians now. <laughs> From all the reactions of Nigerians we are seeing so far, you can see that nobody wants to repeat APC government. And that is actually true. Who are you going to blame? Who you want to blame? 
This is not the same government where we say bring hardship for this country. This same government, you know how many lives we don't go for this same government. They don't kill so many people. As in every day they kill human beings the way that they slaughter cow. The government where we say insecurity, they high. You know if you sleep, make you go your enter your house, sleep, say all is well. Every now and then you go to hear different, different story. How you expect such people may they repeat the same government? Just the way we know repeat Jonathan. And now this same government now make people no repeat Jonathan. So how you want me to repeat APC? It's not possible now. It's what is happening now. As in hunger. Now hunger I want to talk. This past seven years, this government has really showed that they don't have plans for Nigerians. They don't have plans for the youth. The youth, according to them, according to our slogans, they are the futures of tomorrow. What has our youth become today? This same government may even think about them. You know, they think about the education of the children at all. They know they think about now how to pack money, put for their own pocket, how to enrich themselves, enrich their family. Now, what in this government don't feel achieved so far? So, APC, nobody go repeat you. For now, I think it's this high time Nigerians come out, they decide for themselves who they really want. They should remove it, that they should not be biased about this because over time people have been coming out, they will pay you, give you peanuts, you you just vote out your conscience. I don't think 2023 is going to be like that. Nigerians, they don't want to vote out their conscience. They want to vote the right person into the position. They want to really decide. Not be those decide, maybe say that they decide, if they decide, finish, they will use money. No. This same government, what did they use our youth they do? Did they use our youth political talks? Now, what did they use youth to? After youth use youth they do, after everything, they will dump them. They will not do anything for them. Is it the same you the same government who now won't make the youth vote for? It's not possible now. Because the youth they don't wake up, they don't say and say this government over the years, what did they be say they will just promise them, they will come, they will make out things, work out for them. At the end of the day, they will just turn their back on this same youth. Just imagine our Naira. Our Naira now, they don't rubbish our Naira. The same government. Now, Ogatinubu won't make them vote for. That one, my own opinion, Sha. But you guys, I would like to drop it here for now. But before they match them, make you not drop the, your comment in the comment section. Give us thumbs up. Also, let us know. You now want repeat APC. I do not know what repeat APC. Thanks for stopping by. I do really appreciate. See you guys in my next video.